What's up guys, today we're back with another gear review on the Scott Cosmos 3 Backcountry Ski Boot. I'm the Outdoorsy Dude, and today I'm going to give you my first impressions of this brand new boot. Okay, so two things before we start the video. Number one, I'm not just trying to look outdoorsy. It is very cold in the basement. Uh, number two, this is just a first impressions review. So I've only skied in these boots once. So I'm going to keep this review relatively short. I'm going to cover just three things. I'll tell you why I bought the boots and whether or not the boots have addressed those issues, what I like so far, and what I don't like so far. It's going to be really straight to the point. Why did I upgrade to the Cosmos 3? Now my old boots were the Cosmos Gen 1. I got them very cheap on Kijiji. I was satisfied with how they fit, but after skiing them on a three-day hut trip, I was quite disappointed. I was blistering. I was sore. They were difficult to take on and off. They had a crappy lock-walk mechanism that would fail and actually ended up breaking on me uh, and they were not very good on the downhill if I'm honest. So I was looking for something that would solve all of these problems. Now at the time I was not loyal to Scott. Um, I went into the store totally open-minded. I tried on a ton of boots but unfortunately I have really fat feet and that means I am kind of stuck to Scott. So far They've pretty much fixed every issue that the Cosmos 1 had. First of all is that lock-walk mechanism. It's now a very durable looking metal spring-loaded rod that just flicks down and catches a bar and locks the back of the boot in much nicer than on the Gen 1 and Gen 2. It's a lot stiffer. It certainly skis a lot better than the Cosmos 1 did. And I think that's also in part due to the fact that the boot is actually significantly taller. Uh, so that would certainly give you a little bit more um, control of the boot and ski there. Uh, it's definitely more comfortable. I think that is mostly due to the fact that in the Gen 1, I just had really old liners and I was too lazy to buy new ones. I was being pretty cheap at the time. That's why I bought boots off Kijiji. Um, these are my first new boots, at least backcountry anyway, and I'm happy to report that they are very comfy when they're new. It's awesome. Lastly, unfortunately, the new lock walk mechanism is not perfect. Okay, so the problem goes like this. When you're touring and breaking trail specifically, you'll get lots of snow build up in there. And when you try to flick this rod down, it won't want to catch onto there because of course there's snow or ice in the way. And so I had to sometimes flick it up and down a few times or even take my gloves off and kind of poke in here to get it to clip in. Uh, but other than that, really not any big complaints. It's certainly a step up on the Cosmos 1. I can't really speak to how it compares, unfortunately, to other boots. All right, that is all for me today. Let me know in the comments with the likes if you want to see more gear reviews. Maybe you want to see a more comprehensive review on these once I've skied in them a lot more days. Uh, if you want to see anything else, if you want to see what skis I'm on, what bindings I'm using, if you want me to review any of that stuff, let me know in the comments down below. I'll be sure to get to that. And that is all. Thank you again for watching. Subscribe, like, share, all that jazz, all the stuff YouTubers ask you to do. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.